Welcome back guys with Marit Official. Today I'll be showing you one of the important tools which was there for a long time with Microsoft Windows. Let's say if you want to take a screenshot of your desktop or an application to use for any demonstration purposes or some presentation, what you do is you press the print screen button on your keyboard in your laptop or the desktop and you paste it on Microsoft Paint. What most people doesn't know is that there was a tool all along for this purpose only, which is called the stipping tool. This tool is designed for taking screenshot, cropping and saving as a JPEG or PNG file or copy paste it in any application. With the Windows 10 October update, it has been updated as well. Now the latest version is called the snip and sketch. So let's get into what we are talking about and how to use this application. So we'll click on the start button and we'll type in snip. After typing snip you can see the first application pops up is the snipping tool. So in this after clicking it you can see it's updating it to the latest version which is called the snip and sketch which will be fully converted in the future updates and this is the old application let's go to this new one snip and sketch we'll click on this this is the new interface of the snipping tool which is called the snip and sketch so let's get started with this now this is the interface to take a snip you can press ctrl new or you can click over here we have snip now you can delay it for 3 seconds or 10 seconds of your screenshot to do whatever you want so if you click new you can see three new icons come this is the rectangle clip the free form and the full screen which is easy to use actually previously it was a little bit harder that means you have to use one of the versions so we'll get started with the rectangle we take a rectangle screenshot and it appears over here so if you want to take a free form, I'll show what's the free form method is. That means whatever you draw, like now I'll draw a small circle in this logo here, and you can see that it opens in a new window as well. And uh, we will take the other version as well, that is the full screen method. Now you can see that the full screen has also been updated. And you can see dual screens because I am using my computer with the dual screen method. So all both the screens has been taken a snip. And we'll close this application and we'll work through. So you have the highlighter that you can make circles or draw a line. Whatever you need, that means to highlight certain objects, you have different kinds of pen. So normally when you're drawing a line, we it was hard, but there were some tools updated with this version that means you can use a ruler to draw a line actually so you get you can draw straight lines without even having curves in it most people know that when you're using the mouse it's not easy to draw a straight line unless you are using a ruler that's for certain so you can an angle the ruler using the scroll in your mouse or if you're using the touchpad of your laptop uh, according to your gestures some will be having n gestures and some will be having two finger uh, method and you can use the proctet as well to do a curve a semi eclipse and you can reduce the size using the scroll of your mouse or the touchpad and you can draw a pretty good circle in this so 360 or 180 90 degrees whatever is available so if you want to go back again just click on back in you can save copy and share as well if you want to open with another application print it and there are settings as well so let's say if you want to delay that means we will show the delay functions as well so i'll delay 10 seconds and i want to do is to show what are available in the microsoft office tools so what I go is I'll go to the Microsoft Office tools and I want to show that where the office language is there. So it takes 10 seconds and it freezes the screen and you can take a free form or a rectangular method and you take the screenshot by dragging the rectangle 
and you can see it's popped up in a window so after that we will close this and i'll show you the other tool that is the crop tool you click on the crop tool and you can crop the image however you want and you click the tick mark and save it there's another function the shortcut method what i'll do is window shift s and it will go to the screenshot mode and you can take the screenshot and it will be saved on your clipboard to get onto your clipboard you can press windows v and you can see the clipboard so if you you can do many times so you can use it in any application for this instance i'll be using microsoft word so we'll go to microsoft word and in the document uh, i want to paste the previous screenshot so i'll press windows v to get the window for the clipboard and when you double click on it it will be pasted so the clipboard function can be used in all the application what you want so you don't need to go back and take the screenshot save it whatever you need by pressing the windows v button you can go back to the clipboard and you can clear it or keep the clips whatever you need and have it used again thank you guys don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon to get alerts of my future videos